So my topic for today's presentation is possibilities to magnify the AFR uses without complicated process. So as we've seen uh, with Tom's presentations that uh, it is not only that we have to feed the AFR into the system, but we have to know our system and capabilities how the system can work and how it can perform further. As we know, clinker production is an energy intensive process here hence main challenges being faced by industries to optimize manufacturing cost and to follow environment protection solutions. So to optimize manufacturing cost and at the same time reducing CO2 footprints, the following steps are being followed majorly by the industry. First one is utilization of alternate fuels, alternate raw materials. Second one is uses of byproducts. Third one is integration or of renewable energy sources with cement manufacturing. So this paper is mainly covering this uh, ideas. So if we see the cement sector CO2 emissions, so what is the baseline today? And uh, we assume that at end of 2050, this uh, will be somewhere 2.34 if we are not doing proper control over it. But uh, if we see 2030, the CO2 emission will be ranging somewhere 2.2 if we are following the present measures what we have taken. So here, if you can see that uh, the major part of energy efficiency and uh, it uh, second comes major part as alternate fuel uses and other fuel switching which is almost say 40 percent uh, in case of 2030 because at present also the alternate fuel uses are not yet made successful up to the mark so it is there in uh, develop, developed countries but not in developing or uh, undeveloped countries definitely this will be a potential for 2030 and uh, if we compare from developed countries so already they are reached up to 60 to 70 percent uh, of afr switch but in uh, other countries like india or other developing countries uh, we are hardly at 20 to 30 30 percent max so this will be definitely going to make a clear cut uh, saving and clear cut potential to use uh, afr so these are the points where we can use uh, alternate fuels uh, so first uh, if we start raw mill just uh, right hand side of raw mill we can use a slag ply or red mud as a alternate raw materials which which are very known for less heat energy involvement second comes as a calciner so in calciner we can use sorted municipal and industrial waste low quality of sewage sludge tire chips and etc in inlet we can use the whole tires and pasty sludge now if we are using some additional measures like some pyro rotor or other suppliers also giving this odd disk or this kind of thing then we can use uh, this in separate uh, burning also. In burner, we can use sorted municipal and industrial waste, that is RDF, dried sea waste sludge with liquid as hardest waste and salt. Cement mill, we can use granulated blast furnace slag, fly ash, calcined clay, and also we can uh, use the desulfurization of uh, gypsum, which is uh, done by the fuel. Uh, we will discuss about alternative fuel technologies. Uh, in my screen, it is uh, visible. If, uh, one kind of reactor that is called pyro rotor that uh, i will take into the next slides so methods of enhancing alternate fuels are provision of sufficient retention time in burning or uh, burning of af in calciner provision for separate burning and of af and using hot gases into the calciner so this second point is now getting more uh, useful in this scenario when we are having very less uh, processed uh, afr and uh, very uh, difficult to burn so that we should not uh, interfere our uh, clinkerization process and it can burn uh, by itself third one is provision of efficient main burner suitable for af provision of additional channels of uh, af liquid and solid in the main burner and uh, the last one is the selection of alternate raw materials and fuels so if next slide if we see that uh, if we are not using pre-processed materials then they are providing us, they are giving us a difficulty into the burning. So that's why we have to reduce the size. As uh, we seen in uh, one of the uh, slide of Mr. Tom, that the size of AF should not be more than 50 mm uh, when it is uh, on the 2D. But here, uh, if we can see in till main burner, we are restricting 2 into 1 into 1 for 3D and 10 into 10 for 2D. And for pyroclone calciner, we are restricting for 2D 30 into 30 mm. 
because if it is uh, coming more than that then definitely it is uh, going to fall and it is going to mix with charge and create the hurdles for the next uh, process so but if we are uh, having this uh, special equipments like uh, pyroclone combustion chamber uh, pyroclone with combustion chamber and uh, pyro rotor then definitely we can use can utilize uh, some unprocessed uh, fuel also so here we can use uh, 300 by 300 into 25 3d or we can use a whole tire or such kind of lumpy fuels which having more uh, moisture it can be used in the pyro road. so this is a typical uh, sketches of different uh, cyclones so i will not go detail on to it but we can see there are uh, stages of development where at the last uh, we can see there is one preheater calciner uh, it is fitted with uh, pyro road. So in pyro rotor, we can use very lumpy and uh, very difficult to burn fuel and pyro rotor can be placed with existing pyro process. So next comes to pyro jet kiln burner. Here we can uh, use uh, some additional channels for AFR. And if you can see, there is uh, one detectable uh, lens which is uh, shown by red colored and so it can be moved further and backward so that we can change its uh, mixing of AF with the main fuel with uh, changing their angles. So this ad adjustment can be taken from the main burner. Pyro incinerator. This is a one device which can be easily fixed either in existing pyro process or it can be taken from beginning also. But it is uh, used to enhance the calciner capability to burn uh, AF pyroclone, pyroclone or calciner. But definitely it demands some kind kind of a processed uh, AFR. It cannot be used for a very difficult to burn or bigger in size uh, AFs, but definitely in process uh, AF. So next comes to combustion chamber. Combustion chamber is well known to industry. It is uh, meant with uh, two and tangential entry of tertiary air duct, and there will be some meal curtain used to protect the refractive and uh, flame is uh, used with uh, one multi-channel burner which is uh, from the top here we can use some gases or some afr which are somehow uh, processed or uh, if it is unprocessed then definitely sizes has to be controlled so this is all known to industry so i will not uh, discuss more here next come to pyro rotor this is definitely new concept to the industry and so far we have only seven uh, uh, references known but they are running very well and because they are connected offline and uh, it is not uh, very much uh, disturbing to clinkerization uh, process because the tertiary air duct is taken into pyro rotor and fuel is burned and then the hot gases are taken away into the calciner. So this way we can utilize uh, this. Here is the operating principle of this pyro rotor. If we can see that uh, gas temperature from the tertiary air comes by this way if my cursor is visible. So it comes to the pyro rotor and from other shoot we can see the whole tire is coming and it is joining here and this tire is got burned here and from other shoot we can see from the right side the processed or uh, you can say unprocessed but definitely is in size controlled AF is getting fed here and uh, it here it it burned and uh, time of this burning can be controlled by the rotating in this uh, small baby kiln what we call pyro rotor and uh, this time can be controlled with this this hot gases then joining to the calciner and it going upwards where uh, it can taken to the calciner this is a standardized reactor sizes suitable for any clinker uh, production quantity operation can be adjustable 0.3 to 3 rpm and there is no any issue of any jamming or any coating issue because uh, it is operating and it is moving part and inside there is a refractory there so there should not be any jamming over the metal pieces or something which is uh, more frequently seen in other uh, cases so this is a layout for the pyro rotor which is connected from tertiary air duct and it is joining to the calciner and uh, so we have total seven differences so this is utilizing alternative fuels as whole tires tire chips rdf plastic waste mineralic waste is several hazardous waste uh, one plant in china is also operational where they 
use the hazardous waste of industry. So these are the operating references of Pyro Road to it is Sanyong Dongi Line 6 in South Korea. And this is the Sanyong Dongi Line 7 in Asia Cement Gestion. So guarantee was 5000 and the performance test the plant achieved 5058 the heat guarantee was 840 but achieved was 760 and here most important is the thermal air substitution of the calciner so here in all references we can see 85 percent substitution is there so this is a machine which is which can be used for any plant or if they are willing to do a high such air now after Alternate fuels, I will just cover in brief this of alternate raw materials in cement industry. Basically, what are the raw materials can be used in cement industry are GGBS slag. Yeah. It can be used 20 to 30 percent. Why it is limited? Because of uh, sil silica. High silica cannot uh, cannot be used for uh, clinker lime when we are attaining 63.8 or 64.5. So calcined clay can use 20 to 35 percent. Limitation comes as a cement is strength. If we are using beyond say 35 or 40 percent, clay yes, as a raw material for clinker. Here it's also can be 5 to 10 percent, but limitations will be silica. LD slag can be used 20 to 30 percent, but it has to be higher in lime. If lime is not there, then uh, this will be further uh, limited. So metallic components and silica is the limitations for that. Red mud can be used. So basically, this is uh, used where we have to balance the alkalis with sulfur. So the limitations are, of course, alkalis. Copper slag can be used 2 to 5% as a placement of iron ore. And chlorine and uh, other undesirable components are the limitations. So here uh, we see the uses of DGBS as a raw material for clinkerization. One slide is uh, visible here. So here we have Novothrice Russia plant where we can see that uh, 2 into 3000 tons per day clinkerization units are visible. And uh, what are the special features that uh, here raw material is a blast furnace, furnace slag and uh, for corrective component we are using Siemens Martin slag. So this plant is having 600 kilocal per kg clinker, which is a, a record in clinker industry. Next slide comes as uses of calcined clay for clinker substitution in cement. So it is example of LC3 where we clinker limestone and calcined clay in different persons. And here we can see what are the strength of this kind of cement. So here we can see 50% is less clinker, 30% CO2 reduction takes place because we are using less uh, calcination of material. Similar strength, better chloride resistance and ASR resistance. This is a typical glass calciner plant where you uh, can see uh, there is a three stage preheater cyclones and there is one flash calciner and uh, there will be one definitely breaker which is connected pneumatically and we have uh, separation cyclones and after separation cyclone it goes to the cooling system so this uh, this is a typical sketch that here uh, it is explained that how is the flow seat of this so we are feeding material to the hammer mill from hammer mill the fines is going to the cyclone after collection it goes to the calciner after flash calciner it uh, we say the clay calciner it goes to cyclone and after collection of this th this air is again taken back to the hammer mill and product goes to the cooler. So how this uh, system works, it is uh, more as uh, similar to the semi-wet plant where we use the hammer mills and the hot gases are being used from the preheater or it can be used from the dedicated furnace. So this is the calcined clay technology. Basically, it is a thermal activation of clay uh, material which is having posenolanic properties impact hammer mill similar to the semi-wet process three stage preheater as i have already explained so this is uh, at 800 to 1000 degree depends on the properties of the clay material so as a conclusion i say that uh, many years of experience it has shown that uses of waste as afy cement plant in both ecologically and economically justified furthermore less waste uh, will have to be dumped or burned which is mean that less dumping sites Environmental issues of burning parali, landfill sites, slaughterhouses, waste can be very effectively consumed in prior process. 
KSD has solutions like combustion chamber, pyro rotor for maximum utilization of EF waste uh, derived food fuels. Uses of alternate raw materials like slag, dry ash, calcine clay, boiler ash, etc., has been increased. However, in Indian constructs, there is a huge potential to use these alternate raw materials. Yeah.